Yo guys, what is up? It is Masters here, and I'm bringing you guys a Halo 4 gameplay commentary and some team heavies. This is on a map long ago, and I, as I said, I will bring now some right to you my channel. So it's different gameplays on Halo 4, and this one is of team heavies. And I'm not actually the biggest fan of team heavies because in some matches we play against the biggest tryhards in the world. The tryhards can basically secure almost like every single vehicle on the map and spawn trap you, for the most part at least. But um, surprisingly, I played like five Team Heavies matches today, and we won every single one of them. And yeah, it's been quite an easy win, and it was actually quite an enjoyment, and I did enjoy using some of those vehicles, even though I almost failed with a Scorpion against the Gauss Hawk at the start, which is quite embarrassing. But this match has like one of the most embarrassing moments that I ever had in Halo. That comes up pretty soon, actually. So stay tuned. It's it's just a disgrace, basically. It's to do with this incineration cannon, and uh, just wait and see what the fuck happens. But it's really horrible, and I was really sad. And I was just thinking, is, does the game hate me, or or what's going on? But anyway, this is a topic which I want to discuss today, and it's topic three of my short little topic series. And uh, so I'm basically basically making like three videos to talk about the um, Halo Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer upgrades. This is um, video number three of three, so obviously the topic is dynamics, map dy new map dynamics in Halo 2 Anniversary's remade maps, and um, yeah. So basically, we know that map there's going to be a sort of map dynamic in every single remade or remastered map in Halo 2 Anniversary's multiplayer. So we already seen the Ascension, well we've seen an RTX, the Ascension. In Ascension, you can click buttons around the map somewhere, and if you click those buttons at a certain time, I think, the, um, basically the satellite tower in the middle of the map will form a bubble shield right between its three legs, and the bubble shield, you can stay inside the bubble shield. It works similar to a bubble shield from Halo 3, where you stay inside, Bullets cannot travel through the bubble shield, so if you stay inside the bubble shield, you'll be safe from bullets. So people have to come inside the bubble shield to attack you, basically. And you have advantage as you'll be expecting them, and you can probably do the first move as they enter the bubble shield. And basically, the bubble shield does not always stay there in the map, but it stays there for a couple of seconds, and then it's kind of like a power weapon. The power weapon spawns at one time, you can pick it up, use it for a certain amount of time, for like for a few kills, then it disappears and you have to like wait three minutes for it to respawn. The same is gonna be with these button, these buttons and this sort of map dynamic, you can only use it in some certain time. I would imagine that you can use it probably less frequently than the um, power weapons such as a rocket launcher or maybe as frequently, but anyway, um, but yeah. So it will. So a bubble shield. You can also use a bubble shield if you are clever and you are. If you have, for example, a teammate and you're having callouts, you, your teammate can report to you that he's been under heavy fire in the middle of the map. You can activate the bubble shield and it should save his life. And uh, yeah, that can be used for some serious, serious tryhard tactics. But um, I don't think the map feature will be available perhaps in competitive play. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I don't think it's. I don't think it's sort of an unbalanced uh, mechanic, I think it's sort of a cool mechanic actually to be honest. And I'll say the father of map dynamics is basically Vertigo from Halo 4, from the Champions Bundle DLC. Vertigo is basically, basically the father of map dynamics, it's the map that basically started map dynamics. So they're pretty simple in Vertigo, all you have to do is to shoot a button and it would create a electric spark in near one of those um, weather towers and uh, if anybody was standing near the spark their shields would pop out and you can just there'll be one shot and you can just kill them with one shot with a battle rifle or a DMR but yeah um, so yeah and you should you'll expect bubble you'll expect um, some sort of di map dynamic in every single map we know that coagulation will have some sort of map dynamic in it every single map will have some sort of map dynamic in it and won't be a bubble shield, the bubble shield is only unique to ascension um, the other maps will have something different so um, so let's just say coagulation has two bases in the map and obviously whatever the map dynamic is it has to do something with those two bases we just have to find out what 
And I'm sure we'll find out what all the map dynamics are once all maps have been revealed in the Halo Master Chief Collection. I think we're gonna see another map reveal in um, Comic Con, but we should also see... But we'll definitely see all maps before the release of a Master Chief Collection, and within then we should know about every single map dynamic. And if, I'll be in... Since I'm like... I'm kind of a tryhard. I can be a tryhard sometimes, at least. It's when I play with friends, at least. Um... So I can use the, I'll just invent, invest into the um, map dynamics and try and find in ways and how to use them for our benefit, for example. Because already we planned out that we're going to create a clan in Halo t in uh, Master Chief Collection and we can't, we're basically looking forward to it. I'm going to be its leader actually, since I'm actually the more experienced player out of my uh, friend list on, because basically I've been rocking Halo for a lot, a lot recently. Recently, I mean, I can discuss this actually in another topic. I need to finish my map, map dynamic topic to, uh, I need, yeah, I need to, sorry. I need to finish my map dynamic topic, basically. So, yeah. So, obviously, we have, um, people, a lot of people think that Zanzibar and Midship are gonna be revealed soon. Like, a lot of people think it's definite that Zanzibar and Midship are gonna be some of the remastered maps in Halo 2 Anniversary. Basically, because they showed, um, they showed basically the models of Zanzibar and um, Midship, basically the maps, how they were mapping out Midship and Zanzibar before Halo 2 was actually launched, basically. Yeah, some person from, like the, um, some sort of director from Certain Affinity actually showed his map, that he was actually part of Bungie and he was mapping those maps, basically. He was mapping Midship and Zanzibar. So yeah, we can, so we could definitely expect um, some map dynamic, some pretty cool di map dynamic, especially in Zanzibar. I'm actually interested what sort of map dynamic we'll see in Zanzibar. Coagulation, definitely something to do with those two bases. They might get some upgrades, I don't know, we'll see. But it would be pretty cool if they get an upgrade and they suddenly, they suddenly grow taller, if you know what I mean. So they, then suddenly they have two levels. I mean, I don't think they can do that, but... That'll be pretty sick. <laughs> That'll be actually pretty funny as well. But anyway, um, and midship, I can't, I can't quite imagine what sort of map dynamic we would see in midship. It's quite hard because midship is basically a, a very small map. It's very uh, four v four sort of map, and I don't know what could happen if the if there is a map dynamic in midship. But I'm actually really interested in map dynamics. I mean, I thought the map dynamic dynamic idea in vertical was actually pretty interesting. So I'm actually interested to see what sort of map dynamics we'll get next. So yeah, this has been Master Davros and I'll see you guys uh, later. Peace.